we enacted four bills that implement the grand jury recommendations on how we can address and protect child victims in Pennsylvania. Senate Judiciary Chairwoman Senator Lisa Baker called Wednesday's vote a significant milestone. One of those bills, a constitutional amendment that would open up a two-year retroactive window to allow childhood sex abuse victims to file a lawsuit. That bill must also pass in the next session before it's presented to voters. The earliest is May 2021. Not giving voters a chance to weigh in on that and sending it right to Governor Wolf's desk, Baker says, wasn't ideal. Because a statutory bill I believe would be found unconstitutional. Earlier in the evening, the Senate passed a minimum wage bill 42 to 7. This bill for $9.50, it is a start. Senator Christine Tartaglione championed the bill, which would raise the minimum wage to $9.50 an hour by 2022. She says despite the success, Democrats still want $15 an hour. This by no means means that we're giving up. If we can get this passed to the House, so almost 600,000 people will get a raise. But not everyone sees a bump as a good thing. This is a wedge issue that, that sells uh, to certain voter groups, uh, and, and I think it's more of a political issue than it is a real issue. Harrisburg Regional Chamber's David Black questions if a set minimum wage is even necessary. Generally, folks have to treat their employees well. They have to pay them a competitive wage or they're not going to have employees.